So it's only day two of the new lockdown here in the UK and I'm already bored out of my mind. So I think I'm going to do a few more challenges that you've set me. And the first one I thought I'd do today comes from John Carter who says build a house of cards minimum four levels. So John, you're on. How hard can this be? Figure the way to do this is oh, a nice wide base because if we're going to do four layers, you need a wide. Oh, not a good start. I can't. I can't even do two. Oh come on! This is uh, surely this isn't going to. I thought this would be a nice quick one to get out the way. Okay, but the whole bottom didn't fall. Please. Oh. <laughs> oh my lord. Right, I've decided that part of the problem is the table is too slippy. I'm gonna do it on some card. Right, now that was a stupid idea. God. I can't even get it to work when I'm cheating. <laughs> nope, John, can't do that. I failed that challenge. That's one of the things you learn sometimes when you're doing YouTube. Sometimes it's all right to fail. There you go, there's your lesson, for God's sake. Now, Max James challenged me to try an Aussie accent. Uh, Max, if you're a long-term viewer of this channel, you know that me and Charlie spent a year living in Australia. You may even be lucky enough to have seen a handful of our terrible vlogs, which uh, I don't believe are even online anymore. But uh, yeah, I think I, I got quite good at the local language when I was in Australia. Um, ye, ye na, na ye, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, good on ya. That was another one. Um, so yeah, pretty fluent in Australian. Right, now, <clears throat> Harry has 26 asked, what's the highest point you can drop an egg without breaking it? Well, Harry, there's only one way to find out. So I've decided to come outside because I remember hearing once that if you drop an egg on grass it's less likely to break because they're designed to not really break on grass because they could fall out of a nest onto grass. I've said grass a lot so um, let's give it a go. Now I'm not really a fan of waste so if this breaks I'm only going to use one egg so hopefully it doesn't break on the first go. Hey there we go. So. I can drop it about that high, we'll try a bit higher. It's still in one piece. That's ridiculous. 
ridiculous. I... That's not braking. Hang on, let's drive really high. Hang on. Ah. Oh no. Okay, so it doesn't break if you drop it on grass, but if it accidentally lands on the concrete, then it then it breaks. That's not good, is it? So I think I'm going to need some more booze after the cards and the egg, which is fortunate because Alex De La Salle has said, design a cocktail, which is brilliant. Charlie, can I borrow your fancy cocktail shaker? Yes. Right, everyone knows that a good cocktail should be boozy, which means we're gonna to have to start with a little bit of tequila. I'm not really sure what complements tequila, but we have some Cointreau, which is orange flavored liqueur. So I think, I think a bit of that. Nearly forgot, we need just some, some ice. Need a bit of bitters, I think, because you know, that seems to be something that they put in. Now I don't know, was that a lot? That's something that they put in cocktails. And of course, if I'm gonna make this a Boy John signature cocktail, it has to have a can of pussy in it. So, um, yeah, let's see. I mean, shaking this up doesn't really feel like a, a good idea, does it? But I'm um, worried about shaking this. Oh, okay. I think that's shook enough. That sh that's shook enough, there we go. Obviously you need a nice, Fancy glass. Need one of the strainer things because we are professional here. And uh... so there you have it. We have the Boy John signature cocktail, tequila pussy. Charlie's about to finish work, so we're going to treat her to a post-work cocktail. And if she doesn't like it, we're ending the video there. Charlie, can you open your door? I know you're about to finish work, so I made you <laughs> a cocktail. Wow. Want to give it a go? What do you think? Oh, it's rank. <laughs> the boy John, the boy John, the boy John. Oh, you you absolute Right. I'm actually like shaking. 